So a lot of us are using Zoom for a lot of things right now. And you may find yourself in a situation where you are recording an interview or a conversation or a lecture or something where you want to take the audio and you want to edit it. So you can do this. Normally, what you do when you import audio into Audacity is you just take the file and you drag it in and then voila, you have audio. But if you've tried to do this with Zoom and you have an M4A file here, notice Zoom when you make recordings by default, it makes the video for you and then also gives you this audio only M4A. If you try to drag it in, what you will do is you'll see an error. Something like this, this is the current version of Audacity and it says, hey, this is a file that Audacity cannot understand. So uh, it actually tells you without the optional library, Audacity cannot open this type of file. So it's true, you can install another library, an optional library, you would go up to preferences and choose libraries and then you can click download and then you locate it and you can find it and it, it works. I've done it before on a previous computer. This time I tried it, I was in internet circles for about 10 minutes and I gave up because it wasn't worth it because I know that I can very easily take that M4A file and just convert it to an MP3 and then I will be able to edit it in Audacity. So instead of doing this library, which feel free to do this if you would like to try, what we're gonna do is we're going to take this file and we're going to convert it using iTunes. And iTunes is a really great way to do this because it's cross-platform, so I know even if you're on Windows, you've got iTunes, and at least it used to be. You can get iTunes on Windows still? Okay, I should have looked that up, sorry. Uh, it's cross-platform, fingers crossed, and uh, most of you are familiar with it as well. So we're gonna go to our audio, our file on our computer, and we can choose right-click, open with iTunes, or you could drag it over to iTunes. And here no, I, I have this file, right, so. That's this one too. No, I think that's, uh, this is a recording with my son, I think, doing some processing, P5 work. And I'm going to click here on these three little dots and just make sure that we can look at it. So go to current song so I can see it here in iTunes. And when I, um, when I'm highlighted on this track, now I can go up to File in my menu on iTunes and choose Convert. Right now I have this option of Create AAC version. So this is the default in iTunes. We don't want AAC, we want MP3 or WAV for Audacity. So to fix this, we have to go up, this is the only tricky part, to go up to iTunes Preferences and go to Import Settings, this is under General, Import Settings, and Import Using, and we're gonna change this to whichever you prefer, MP3 or WAV, both work, I'll do MP3, and say OK, and say OK, and now when I go back up to File Convert, my option says Create MP3 version, so I'll do that. -da -dum. Now I have this MP3 version somewhere on my computer, it's, it's hidden, it didn't pop it up at all. So usually what I do is I just go to my spotlight and I'll search for the title, audio only, to how descriptive. Um, and you can do show all in Finder or a fancy trick I use all the time, hold command in the spotlight and double click. And that will open up the folder where this file is now saved on your computer. It's going to be somewhere in your iTunes media folder. So music, iTunes media, mine is in this unknown album. And you can see here I have now audio only to MP3. And this is now converted and I can take it and drag it. Whoops, let's close that. I can take it and drag it and drop it into Audacity. And so I think you're, oh, I'm so sorry. That was really loud. I'll try to take that down. So it now works. So you can feel free to edit away. Now, now that you know how to do this, I'm going to give you a caveat because lastly, the zoom quality, the zoom audio quality is not great. It's, it's like phone call quality. And so if you're conducting an interview or something that you know you're gonna want the audio later, what I would suggest is you ask 
your, go ahead and do it on Zoom, but then ask the person that you're talking to to take some other device, like their phone, and put it right here in front of the computer and record an audio file on their phone. Or better yet, maybe they have some sort of freestanding mic, USB mic. And then have them send you that audio file. And then you can use your Audacity skills to edit your file. You'll go ahead and record yourself also, not just on Zoom, but with another device. And then you can use Audacity to then edit those two things together. And the audio quality will be much better.